Hello, my hearties. A very good morning to you. It is me, Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. Just saying dinky-doo. Quick pop-up to see who's about. Say hi to every single one of you, of course, and um, just find out what's happening and how you're getting on. So a very, very good morning to you and a very warm welcome to Scotty McClure's live stream, streaming live on Facebook Live. That is one of the world World's great streaming platforms, and therefore Scotty McClure is on it. Dinky do. Scott Mackay says, Good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Scott. Lovely to have you with us. Eileen Cunliffe, welcome, welcome, welcome. I say, There will be so many of you out there, and we're saying hi. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning, David Steele. Hi, Scotty, says Kevin Worth. Dinky do. Kevin, lovely to have you with us. Morning, Scotty. Dinky do, says David Russell. Excellent, excellent. Welcome all, of course, and tell Ted to tell Ted to tell Ted to tell Ted that Scotty McClure has popped up live just for you to say Dinky Do on Facebook Live. Gordon Robertson, Dinky Do, good morning to you. Diane Marchand, lovely to have you with us. Good morning. Molly Old Boy, Dinky Do, says Kevin Stewart, Dinky Do. Kevin, lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome if you've just joined us. Of course, you're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, live pop-up just for you on Facebook Live. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Scotty. So shocked that the London Underground's packed to capacity as usual. No one is listening. I suppose the alternative, Gordon, would be to um, just put it off, just stop the whole thing. But then again... People have to get to uh, to uh, essential work. Nice to see you. You're looking grand. And you, Gordon Robertson, always nice to see you, sir. Morning, McClure. Good morning, El Salvador and Dinky Doo. Just a quick pop-up, guys. Uh, we'll stay on for a wee while, but obviously you don't want too much of old McClure. Uh, good morning, says Stephen Menz. He's just heading out to assist with railway operations. Keep the key workers and freight on the move. Stephen Menzies, thank you so much to you and to all your wonderful colleagues on the railways, keeping the railways going, keeping the freight moving. What do you think about that? James McDonald, Dinky Doo. Hello, Scotty. Good morning. You're looking very smart. I like the live stream in the morning, says Craig Downey. Good morning, Craig. Always lovely to pop up. A mark of respect for who I'm going to see, and I'm coming to see you lot. So I think I, the least I can do is tidy myself up a little bit. So there we are. Spencer King's watching. Dinky Doo, Spencer. Lovely to have you with us, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Have we shared... Have we told 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that we are live streaming right now on Facebook Live? Do let me know. Very, very important. Just seeing if I can get rid of that shadow at the side for you guys. It's a bit much, isn't it? i maybe pop that off. Does that make it too dark? Or I could move it over a little bit, see if that helps. There we go. Are we too dark, guys? Can you still see me? Do let me know. Very important. We don't want to be too dark, but ah, I think that's about the best. Um, love the bonnet, Scotty. You've been watching Peaky Blinders. <laughs> this is exactly what we need, a bit of chit-chat, the modern version of a hang out the windy and a blather with the neighbours. Absolutely. That's all it is, Gordon. When uh, you get people coming around to say, look, your shows are obviously very successful, Scotty. Um, who are your target audience? Is it everyone? No, no, your target audience, everyone is the audience. Do you know what I mean? And I tell these people, and they don't understand it. They say, well, you see, we're interested in branding. I say, well, everyone's out there. Help yourself. Fill your boots, big style. Catherine Delaney's watching. There's a, a lovely name to hear. Haven't heard from you for a while, Catherine. Lovely to know you're out and about. Of course, we very often pop up late on a Sunday night. Well, not late, nine o'clock. Late for some people if you're up very early for work the next day. Wonderful J.P. McCusker, dinky do to you. Can't get enough of you, chum. Top man. Louise Arrell, lovely, lovely, lovely to see you. Wonderful person. Great to have you all here. Darren O'Neill, dinky do. Scotty, I've been feeling a bit upset recently, but watching your live streams always makes me feel better, says Craig. Craig Downey, don't get upset, old chum. Come and join us on here. We'll look after you as best we can. 
Molly Scotty Dinky Doo says the top man John Jones Dinky Doo um, I'm worried I have my young son uh, 50 50 says Brian Hall I know what you mean Brian yes I think everybody is worried but please try and not just be aware follow the instructions do your best you can't do better than that I can't say fairer than that unless I can't pronounce my F's all my THs, as they are. My wife, Alison Stewart, says hello. Hello, Alison. Dinky do. Dinky do to you, Kevin. Top man. Good morning, says Louise. Uh, Shamsa Raymond Katak is watching. Shamsa Raymond Katak, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky do. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say, do me, let me know if you're watching further afield. A lot of people obviously watch us in Canada and America and Australia. Um, hi, Scott here from Pauline. Dinky do, Pauline. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Rosalind Little Tamburini says, Morning, morning, Rosalind Little Tamburini. What a wonderful, wonderful name. Love it. Gorgeous name. Good morning to you. Morning, Scotty Dinky Doo says, Gareth Collins. Dinky Doo, Gareth. The lovely Susan Forrest from Lancashire. Good morning, Scotty Dinky Doo. And a wee kiss. Good morning, and Dinky Doo to you, Susan, in Lancashire. Gary McClure, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. Jim McGeary. Good morning, Scotty. Morning. Jim. Uh, what's everyone going to watch box set wise? I'm starting with a classic show, Night Rider. Oh, I used to introduce Night Rider on the telly. And then I remember saying on uh, commercial television, uh, loads of kids are going to get to know Kit. Remember Kit? And uh, I remember saying, now it's time for my favorite program, Night Rider. And a friend of mine said, no way is Night Rider your favourite programme. We loved it. We love Kit. I could do with Kit, actually, you know, to pick you up when you come out um, of somewhere, you know what I mean? Not that we'll be coming out of anywhere very much for some time. Was out last night, Scotty, to your brisk walk. Lockdown looked like any other day. No policing, not even a car in sight. We don't have enough police to do the 66 million population of the UK. Yes, when the idiots had come out of Europe, and we're talking about Brexit, these Brexiteers, dangerous, dangerous people for this country, and uh, they'd come out of Europe, and they were saying to me, oh, who taught your mathematics when I said there were 50 million Remainers? I would say, deduct 17.4 from 67.4. Get somebody to help you. 50 million. Fantastic. So there we go. Excellent stuff. Morning from the USA, says Karen Brown Sherman. Karen Brown Sherman, lovely to have you with us in America. Do tell us where you are watching from. Defo don't need military. Be careful what we wish for. Believe it will cause riots. I don't think so, El Salvador. The military are helping. They're delivering. Somebody even said this morning, you see army trucks. They're delivering essential supplies to the NHS. Kevin says, I've started with my allotment to try and grow some food and keep me occupied. What are you doing, Scotty McClue? Um, I'm broadcasting to you right now, live streaming. Excellent stuff. There we are. Keep me occupied. And uh, would you agree with me that we're lucky to have Nicola as First Minister? She's very competent, better than any of the Westminster politicians, irrespective of party. Well, she certainly knows Scotland a lot better than Westminster does. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure how beneficial Westminster has been to Scotland of recent times. And I get slightly concerned about a kind of arrogant attitude. And my line to Westminster would be, do not bite the hand that feeds you. Scotland subsidizes the UK. Uh, shout out to Zainab doing a school work, says Jav. Zainab dinky do excellent stuff. Very proud of you doing your schoolwork, all the boys and girls. Uh, John says, John McClucky, hi Scotty, hope you're well, and you, John, lovely to hear from you. El Salvador, Stelioni, Savior, good shout, excellent, yes. Uh, I'm watching The Prisoner and Randall and Hopkirk, classic TV, Randall and Hopkirk, deceased, in the white suit. That's right, now what were the two characters called? The wonderful, wonderful Lou Grade. 
brought us all these ITC films, The Saint, Randall and Hopkirk, The Champions, uh, what else, The Baron, um, oh, superb stuff. And uh, that was ITC Films, and I'm pretty sure that was the wonderful Lou Grade, Lord Grade of ATV television fame. And um, he, he brought us so many wonderful pieces of entertainment. And there's a saying in the media industry, if Lou Grade had been alive today, Scotty McClue would never be off our television screens. Is that not fabulous? There you are. I am so privileged, these lovely people. Clive St. James Greenaway is watching. Dinky Doo Jim, lovely to have you with us. I agree. We're lucky to have Nicholas Sturgeon, says James McDonald. Absolutely, James. Fiona Brown's watching. Dinky Doo Fiona, good to have you with us. Uh, hi, Scotty. How are you, mister? Fine, Fiona. Lovely to hear from you. Always lovely to hear from you. And uh, I hope you all like the wee pop-up. I'm just trying to move this um, lamp away a wee bit because it's, it's got that sort of faded look at the side. Ah! And we're in what's called... Yeah, that's better, isn't it? We're in what's called landscape at the moment. So I think you're seeing a little bit more than normal. There we are. Excellent stuff. Does that look better? I say, dinky do from Scotty McClure to every single one of you. Um, who else is on here? Lol, Scotty McClure. Says Kevin Stewart. Absolutely, Kevin. Dinky do lots of lol. There's a very, very serious world crisis at the moment. But let's not forget how to laugh. Let's not forget lots of lol at the bits that aren't too serious. So if it doesn't concern the virus and the transmission of the virus, untimely death for people, uh, serious illness for, you know, hundreds of thousands of people, if it doesn't contain that, let's never lose our ability to laugh to have levity, to make light, follow the instructions and all will be well. We have to come through this. Good must always triumph over evil. Do you think that um, if we say the devil has brought the virus for talking's sake, do you think people will return to God full time? There we are. Hi, Scotty Westminster and uh, FCO are currently driving as wild in New Zealand. Scottish students and citizens trapped with no flights home and the government's giving us no information to help. Spread the word, please, says the wonderful Ronin, trapped in New Zealand. Um, spread the word to help us. We'll do our best. The wonderful Lynn Donnelly's watching. Lynn, how fantastic are you? So sorry to hear about uh, what happened the other day. That was shocking. And uh, you will come through this. You know, it's just the shock. Deal with the shock. Um, Atlanta GA says, Karen, fantastic. We send love to everybody in Atlanta and to all our brothers and sisters in America. Dinky do. God bless you, I say. Danny McNeil's watching. Lovely to have you with us. Hi, Danny. Uh, C. Leslie, it's really not the time for childish point scoring. Your agenda is very clear. So there we are. Um, yes, absolutely, C. Leslie. What sort of point scoring did you think had been going on? See more. Um, Gordon Sterling, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Sorry to hear that the old uh, red bus and everything are sort of shelved for now, but that will all change. Um, have you got a gardener in it, Gordon? You know how excited McClure gets with a gardener. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, was I the only one yesterday that was disappointed with uh, Sky News letting Boris speak in full, but cutting the Scottish update, even though information would likely have been the same? Yes, I noticed the BBC did that as well. They cut in on the First Minister, and I thought, very, very strange. However, the principle... Um, yes, absolutely. I mean, in Scotland, the First Minister is the head of the country. 
the head of the government. Uh, do you remember the Invitas, Scotty, and Quinn Martin, our Quinn Martin production? Fantastic. Yes, Kevin. Um, hello, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Hello, Tom. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. People will be watching now going, oh, it's all just people's names. We've got lots we can discuss, but it's just a quick pop-up to say hi to you. And uh, people who are on their own, um, hopefully it gives them a wee cheery up here. First thing in the morning. 100,000 police officers was then cut to 50,000. Now, this is cuts. It's very noticeable. When Boris is bringing 20,000 new officers back, you'd best get recruiting because there's a shortage for sure. Oh, I think we could see that coming even if the government couldn't. But I think what happens as a politician you get allocated your budget and you can swap certain things around provided it doesn't become too upsetting to the permanent government in the country. So there you are. Uh, surely your pop-up isn't so wee, says Gordon Robertson. Oh, are we pop-up, Gordon, just to say dinky-doo to every single one of you. Great to see you, McClure, says the wonderful Gordon Sterling. And you, sir, I hope you enjoyed your wee break. So there we are. And uh, now, of course, you're uh, confined to barracks, but um, you can get reading up on how do you, a new set of springs in a gardener, that sort of idea. And um, what cars were covered by the A135 chassis, you know, around the times of the Shear Line and the Prince's Limo. Scotty, got a topic for you here, matey. What's your takes as El Salvador, eh? Um, James McDonald, Scotty. What's the last best joke you heard? My father was a man of very few words. And he used to say to me, son, did you like that one? What about that one? Do tell me. Scotty, who do you honestly believe will win the election in America in November? Trump or Biden stroke Sanders? Well, I would stand as POTUS. Somebody said, what's POTUS? President of the United States. It was like um, a gentleman said to me the other day, and he's watching right now, what does um, GSTQ mean? And of course, it's God save the Queen. And POTUS is a mnemonic, President of the United States. So there you are. These are uh, known as mnemonics, aren't they? A way of remembering, like I can remember in, when I was studying history. Um, Abyss, A-B-I-S, when we were talking about the Crimean War. And that was the four battles. Alma, Balaclava, Inkerman, and Sebastopol. So uh, I was thinking of standing of President of the United States and this um, American Marine said to me, he said, you're not even an American citizen. And I said, uh, well, this is why I'm not standing. You know, so there we are. You just have to tell people that. Eleanor McKinnon, fantastic to hear from you. Hi, Scotty. Please keep safe and well and a wee kiss. Mwah. Bless you and thank you for that. Scotty, what's your views on people in the London Tube today? If they're going to essential work, then fair enough. Um, but they're all mobbed together. It's a perfect, perfect breeding ground for the coronavirus, right? Perfect. So that's what's going on at the moment. Andy Simpson, dinky do, lovely to have you with us. Um, Paul Connell Dunnachy is watching. You see, people are always asking me to be a politician. The problem I have is I'm apolitical. So I don't have any party preference, which I think is an excellent um, situation to be in as a broadcaster. Um, you know, but of course, when broadcasters are recruiting, they like to go, oh, yes, I, I, oh, yes, yeah, ah, yes. All that sort of idea. And it's madness. It really is. Uh, you and the family stay safe says Tom. Thomas Hamilton, the wonderful Thomas Hamilton. I thank you. How are we for time? 
Oh, it's maybe time I pushed off quite soon. Uh, we'll see what's happening. Plenty of laughter and levity, but no box playing, please. It's not that bad. Gordon Sterling, I have a good mind to give you a tune on the box. I have the box here. And I feel that anybody... Did you see uh, somebody put up accordions, only two per household? So there we are. So I have a good mind to play you a tune on the box. What do we think, folks? Shall we play Gordon Sterling a tune on the box? Do tell. I'll wait. I'll hold the box here. And I'll wait to see who wants a tune and who doesn't. Okay? Fair enough. So there we go. Uh, as all the all, since lockdown, in places we've seen blue skies and sunshine more. The canals in Italy clearer. Mother Nature repairs itself like good liver does. Should Sunday be a day of rest in a world that never... I can't see that. And a world that never sleeps, no cars, no shops. When I was a little boy growing up in Scotland, only occasionally was there maybe a cafe open in a Sunday so somebody could get a cup of tea or coffee or an ice cream. All the other shops were shut for Sunday. I kid you not. So there you are for the Sabbath. Yes, the God created the world in six days and on the seventh day, he rested. So there we are, wonderful stuff. Uh, I have no agenda, says Gordon. No, Gordon, I wouldn't have said you have any agenda. I don't know what that person was on about. There we are. They're always looking for reds under the, bla the beds, aren't they? And, um, <clears throat> you know, where would you have blues if you've got reds under the bed? Where would you have blues? Blues in your shoes? Ah, yes, you're always looking for blues in your shoes, you know. Reds under the bed. Um, where would we have the yellows? Yeah, the old, uh, the old liberals, where would they hide out? <laughs> Reds under the bed. Blues in your shoes. Uh, El Salvador says, people are blaming God right now. That's not God's fault. You must find, a, find that understand evil lives in the world. God isn't a movie where he stops everything happening like Superman. God will always be in Seymour. Um, what have we got? God will always have the last laugh and say on evil. That's a fact. My take is it should, but no, can't see people turned into God right now because they want answers now and resolutions. God did not cause the coronavirus. If it was caused by some entity, the devil caused the coronavirus. Good must always triumph over evil or society breaks down. All right? So there you are. So good must always triumph over evil. Take an O out of good. What do you get? Shove a D in front of evil, what do you get? All right? So have a bit of a think about that, Lars. Very, very important. Hope everyone stays in and stays safe. I haven't had a request yet. Gordon Sterling doesn't want me to play the box. I have the box here. Alison says all of our chickens have come home to roost with all these cuts to services. I think so, Kevin, yes. I mean, this country seems to favour right-wing conservatism. It seems to be that kind of country. If you look back, apart from after the Second World War, when we had that wonderful Labour government that did bring in the health service and all these amazing things, and poor old Winnie Churchill got kicked out. <coughs> Pardon me, don't worry about the cough. Had it for 20 years, as I say. Uh, poor old Winnie Churchill got kicked out. Now, um, the whole thing there is uh, we did have new labor, but you couldn't really call new labor labor. Hence, it's better called new labor because it was a fair old bit right of center. And also we had the Iraq war and the BBC got smashed in during the tenure of that and, um, you know, just kind of 
I don't know, just surrendered the battle. The BBC were trying to tell the truth and uh, the government of the day were saying, we don't want this out there. Um, so there was a, you know, there was a, a bit of a coup for our national broadcaster at that time. Look back and you will see it. The director general and the chairman were forced to resign. The board caved in to, uh, to pressure. And, um, and that was that, you know. Um, so, um, that's the kind of situation. But we're very rarely, um, have had. So there's a fair old bit of right wingness in the new Labour setup, you know. We touch on the old champagne socialism because, um, dear old John Smith, well, he wasn't old, bless him, had passed away. And he was your, your proper, caring, socially conscientious, kind of fantastic leader. A Scot, of course. All your top prime ministers have been Scots, and there have been a great many of them. Think about it. Um, Bonner Law, Arthur James Balfour, William Gladstone, great liberal. Um, who else have we had? Henry Campbell Bannerman. Um, all these wonderful Wonderful Scots, you know, I mean, incredible setup. And, um, Churchill was married to a Scot and actually admitted that only the ancient Greeks had done more, uh, for civilization than the Scots. Very interesting, isn't it? So there we go. Right. What do we got here? What's your views on people using the London tube? Well, we've talked about that if it's essential, but, um, when I see packed tubes, perfect breeding ground for the virus. Potus sounds like a disease. Kevin, <laughs> he's got a potus. Um, Richie McCusker, thank you, dear. Scotty, your joke was brilliant. Giggling like a schoolboy. We need to keep a sense of humour in these times. I think we do, James. I mean, I went into the doctor the other day and he said, um, can I help you? I said, yes. Um, you know, he said, can I help you out? And I said to him, sorry, can you help me out? And he said, um, which, which way did you come in? You know, so that sort of thing. It's wonderful, all these, uh, all these wee numbers. I see a lot of CDs in the background. Do you still play them? Or do streaming services such as Spotify? Uh, do you have a favorite genre of music? All music, everything is there. A lot of classical. Because obviously I was classically trained as a musician. Um, a lot of uh, Scottish, terrific amount of Scottish. Tremendous amount of um, Kenneth McKellar, uh, tremendous amount of choirs, Welsh choirs, male voice choirs, brass, brass band, terrific amount of brass band. So they, uh, I have what's called Catholic tastes in music. Um, Catholic just means universal. So there we are. And I have um, talked to Catholic people in religious addresses about what does Catholic mean, and a lot of them didn't realize it means universal. You're a universalist. If you're Catholic, you're a universalist. And of course, if you went to Mass in New York, it'd be the same as uh, as as Mass in um, Brazil, or in Spain, or in France, or in Scotland, or in England, or in Ireland. So there you are. The Mass has ended. Go in peace. Jim says, Jim Thompson, wonderful man. Scotty, is that your virus-free bonnet? Uh, have you made yourself a stylish makeshift mask face yet? Yes, I'm wearing it. I'm wearing it right now. I'm wearing this as a mask. I do not look anything like this. So there we are. A wonderful. Stay safe. Kevin Henderson watching Dinky Doo. Eleanor McKinnon, lovely to have you with us. Please do. Absolutely. We'd love to hear it. Says, go for it, Scotty. Uh, let the box off its hinges, Scotty. Let it out. Right. You're getting it, Gordon Sterling. Big style. Are we ready? Oh-ho! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
number in the box, were you, my dears? What about that? We love all that, don't we? Bit of nonsense. You see, I think the problem is so-called entertainment, canned entertainment, has become the norm, and we've lost live entertainment. God is telling says it will put us over the edge. Well, there we are. Gordon, dinky do, there you are, wonderful. Jonathan Diamond's watching, dinky do, welcome, Jonathan. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome to Scotty McClue's morning pop up, just to say hi to every single one of you. It's as simple as that. You get the morning minis to go, what's this about? They say, it's about you. Who are you? So Scotty McClue. No, but who are you? Scotty McClue. Well, what's your show about? You. Scotty McClue. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> if you don't like it, you don't have to watch. Fantastic stuff. You can clear off. Clear off. Uh, play the Bluebell Polka, says Peter Billy. Oh, the Bluebell Polka. It was in 1955, it was number one in the charts. Diddly di di diddly di 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 Do you know that Jimmy Shand, the Scottish accordionist, was the highest selling artist ever? Outselling um, Elvis, outselling the Beatles, bigger than the Beatles. A Scottish accordionist, a lovely, lovely gentleman. Lived till he was around a hundred, Jimmy. Fantastic guy. Just in Fife. Just Mr. Normal. Uh, worked and worked and worked. Moira Chico's mum's watching. Thank you. Good morrow. Uh, says Dr. Gregorian. Dr. Gregorian, welcome. Michael Yule, thank you. Yellow under your pillows. Oh, yellow under your pillows. Um... You never know where yellow is going to bellow. I don't know. We'll work on that, Fiona. What were doing, guys, this morning? We're talking about, when people talk about lefties, they talk about reds under the bed. And we thought, what about blues in your shoes? And somebody's saying, yellow under your pillow. Not bad, not bad. Tell us what you think, of course. Excellent, important. Play the box, pal, says Thomas. I've just played it, Thomas. Hello, Scotty. How are you this morning? Sounds great to see a live stream from you. Says the wonderful Craig Downey. Craig Dinky Do. You're a huge inspiration, Scotty. I thank you, Craig. So do you. John Jones is watching. Good morning, Scotty. Stay safe during this horrible period. I'm in isolation as I have asthma. Colin Menzies or Colin Mingus. Do please be careful. Menzies or Mingus, Colin, do tell. Um, so there we are. Uh, can we have the round tree, please? But just the first part, if you must. Mm, do you deserve a request, Gordon Sterling, after all that putting McClue down there? The round tree. You're a very fine piper, though. I thought you were actually a pipe major. Um, can I play the round tree? Remember... I have no rehearsal. This is off the top of the head. I'll try it. <laughs> Just for you, Gordon Stimming. There we are. Don't say I don't spoil you. Do you want to see a funny thing, guys? Watch this change if I hold my hand up. Look. Take it down. See the colour change? The old white balance. Fantastic. Look. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. So, if I want an instant tan, 
I obviously can't go out and lie on a beach now with the coronavirus risk, but what I can do is put my hand up. Isn't that lovely? And that means I'm not even paying for a tanning bed or anything, a sunbed. Not that I would ever have any of that. Uh, so there we are. Can we have the round tree, please? You just had that. Wonderful. Come and me a stinky do, Alison McMillan. Uh, yes, there was the first thing the Blair leadership did. Get rid of Clause 4. Unfortunately, Blair was a Scot. He let the side down. Yes, he was brought up, was he not? Brought up in Glasgow and went to Fetters in Edinburgh because his chaplain was uh, old Ronald Selby Wright from the Cannon Gate. And I remember that. And I'm trying to think who his, and I can remember his housemaster. Yes, his housemaster went on to be the head master of Eton. And I think it would be Tony Chenovich Trench that would be there. Um, I think when Tony Blair was at school, but I may have, I may not have that entirely right. Um, I went to the doctor the other day and said, doctor, I feel like a cricket ball. And he said, how's that? I went to the doctor the other day, he said, what can I do for you? I said, I keep hearing Tom Jones lyrics in my head. He said, well, it's not unusual. Johnny Garvey is watching Dinky Do. Come on, play the box. Has gone, Robertson. You've had two tunes in the box. Scotty, have you just stood in the cat? Kevin Stewart, how very rude. People used to say that about my singing. Uh, Scott, isn't it possible to play the Scottish bagpipes on the box? Um, yes, you probably can. I mean, I'd be better on the old synthesizer if you want a bagpipe tune. Love it, says uh, the lovely Louise. Billy Hunter is watching Dinky Doo. Good morning, Scotty. Says Andy Hughes. Morning, Andy. Lovely to have you with us. We haven't shared anything. Can everybody share this right now? And just let folk know that we're here. For goodness sake. It's not much to ask, is it? Just a wee share. Um, there we are. The wonderful Ian Amato's watching Dinky Doo, Ian. Andy Hughes watching from my truck. Your place looks clean, but have you done the high dusting? What did the high dusting? I ran my finger along the top of your picture frames with the lots of stool. No. I'll tell you for why. Um, I went to pull the curtains the other night and the whole curtain reel came down. So I just decided to do some high dusting and wash the curtains. And they're back up. What about that? How good's that? There we go. Right. So, Ian, let me know, are you in lockdown at the moment? Met the Scottish bagpipe theme. I love it. Oh, are you talking about maybe Highland Cathedral? El Salvador, no ways. We are George Formby man or Norman Wisdom. Yes, I'm leaning on the lamppost. Do you know George Formby was really very young when he died? I think he might have been in his 40s. Something like that. His wife was his agent. And uh, I think he was quite wealthy, George Formby, but he, he died quite young. Norman Wisdom, outstanding character, incredibly funny. Did you see him doing a little trip when he went to get his knighthood? <laughs> Wonderful man. And very, very tough upbringing. His dad flung him out, Norman, and he was an ENSA, the Army Entertainment. Uh, is the squeeze box similar to play? If so, maybe a Who rendition? A, a Who? Who? A Doctor Who rendition. Doing good, Scotty. Stay safe, pal. So the wonderful John Carroll. Thank you, dear John. Thank you. I was one of the joking, says Kevin. I know, Kevin. I can take a joke, you know. Nothing makes my hair stand up when there's a funeral and they play the bagpipes. You're talking flues of the forest. Bum -a -day. Dee. 
the flues o'er the forest are rowing away. Oh, stop. Yes, that one. Uh, George Formby was one of the best paid tons, says Kevin Stewart. But you know who was the highest paid ton, Kevin Stewart? Um, Sir Harry Lauder. Very, very highly paid. Uh, Richie Vallon's a great singer. Um, he would have outsold many, absolutely. Pam Scott's watching Dinky Doo. Do you remember when the Scotty McClue video outsold Billy Connolly's at the time? Uh, that's it, says El Salvador. Yes, El Salvador, I saw a repatriation of a young lady soldier the other day. And uh, the piper played the floors of the forest. Very, very haunting lament. So there you are. Wonderful stuff. Right, uh, how are we doing for time? Oh, my goodness. It's uh, it's time I wasn't here. Been lovely, lovely, lovely being with you this morning. Remember to get yourselves on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel, right? If you just Google or uh, search engine Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. Thank you for your pop-up, McClue. You're raising the nation's spirits. This could be your finest hour. This was their finest hour. Wonderful. Alistair King's watching. Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. I'm just about to push off. Now, was going to say to you a little bit of housekeeping. We're all going to be stuck in over the period of um, quarantine. So I shall do some pop-ups from time to time. Set your notifications. Let me know when Scotty McClure goes live. Follow everything Scotty McClure. Follow me on Twitter at Scotty McClue. Get following now. Follow me on YouTube. Follow me here on Facebook. I've got several pages, so look them all up. There's the big Scotty McClue page, about 6,000 of you. There's the Scotty McClue fan group. Um, put Scotty McClue into your Alexa as a skill and save me in your routines. So you can say, Alexa, play Scotty McClue. Thought you said your YouTube channel. Oh, so, so, so. thanks, mate. No bother. Never knew you were online, says Alistair King. I was being a teacher. Yes, a lot of homeschooling going on, Alistair. Well done. Good for you. Regards to Junior, I say. Remember, we're on Instagram, Scotty McClue one Twitter at Scotty McClue, Reddit, and very big on TikTok at Scotty McClue. Spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Thanks for watching this morning. I hope it's been a blast for you. A lot of fun. And this is Scotty McClue saying dinky doo. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain, au revoir, et a tiri, oh. Dinky do, my loves. Mwah! Ta-da!